Hey guys, it's No Help, and welcome to my March Marathon, where I'm going to be uploading a video every single day in March. We are so close to 10,000 subscribers, so if you can go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe to the channel, greatly appreciate it. On with the video. Welcome to my Ironman woodcutting guide for 2022. Woodcutting is a skill that probably a lot of people love to train at the very start of the game um, just because it's one of the most classic skills and it's actually a very fairly useful skill on an Ironman account seeing as you get logs from it and this is a way you can train multiple different skills. 99 woodcutting was actually my second 99 that I got on this account and it actually is a skill that takes you a long time. It's one of the slower skills in the game um, but uh, yeah today I'm going to be showing you um, various different methods of how you can go ahead and get from level 1 to 99 woodcutting on an Ironman account. Alright, so first of all, we're going to talk about quest rewards. I'm going to go ahead and throw these up on screen for woodcutting. So Enlightened Journey will give you 1500 woodcutting experience. The Recipe for Disaster um, Subquest, 1500. The Heroes Quest, 1575. Monk's Friend will give you 2000. Monk's Friend's a really good one to do at the very start of the game with pretty much no requirements. Animal Magnetism, 2500. Eyes of Glove Free, 2500. The Fremnic Trials, 2800. Itchland's Little Helper, 4,000. Fremenic Isles will give you 10,000. Grim Tales will give you 14,000. And Song of the Elves will give you 20,000 woodcutting XP. One other thing I want to talk about is the Lumberjack outfit. This is an outfit that will provide a 2.5% experience when worn. And when we wear the full set, it will give you 2.5 extra woodcutting experience when chopping every single log in the game. So it's a very useful outfit to go ahead and get. It used to be pretty difficult to get, but they made it a lot easier. It is um, obtained from doing the Temple Trek, Trek minigame in Mauritania. It's actually a fairly easy thing once you get the hang of it to go ahead and do. And I actually have multiple sets. It's a thing that you can go ahead and even store in your POH later on. Um, just to show you that it's not hard to obtain at all. I have like seven more um, full lumberjack outfits in my storage right here and the one that I'm wearing. So I did a little bit of uh, the temple trekking in the past, but it is a fairly easy outfit to go ahead and get and definitely worth getting if you plan to go for 99 wood cutting. Next, I'm going to be talking about types of axes that you will use for woodcutting. So if you go into the woodcutting skill and click axes, you get the bronze and the iron axe at level 1. And then you can go up and up and up from here. So basically, woodcutting is pretty fast at the lower levels. Getting 41 won't really take you too long at all. But the thing about an Iron Man account is getting that rune axe. Now, what you can go ahead to do is go ahead and kill tree spirits. I have a guide on my channel on how to kill tree spirits. Um, they're fairly easy to kill and at the very low level account after you go ahead and complete lost city um, you can go ahead and kill these things you can actually save spot them train your magic a little bit this way as well and eventually you will get a nice rune axe drop these also drop a ton of nature runes for your lower level iron man account so go ahead and kill yourself some tree spirits in order to get your rune axe and then um, i actually used a rune axe all the way to 99 wood cutting i just recently got the dragon axe if you want to go ahead and get the dragon axe you you can get it from killing the Dagnoth Kings. Um, they're fairly easy to kill, and you could just camp Rex until you go ahead and get it. But uh, getting the Dragon Axe is definitely worth it. It will increase your woodcutting experience per hour. Also, the Dragon Axe has a special attack, which when you use the special attack, it will boost your woodcutting level by three levels. So it's, it can help quite a bit. The Dragon Axe is a 1 in 128 drop from the Dagnoth Rex. So you could actually... Get one Slayer task, just Camper X and save spot them and pretty much get yourself a Dragon Axe. So definitely worth doing. You could do this at a fairly low level account if you just do Rex and it will make it way more efficient for you. And as for the lower level axes, you're just going to want to take a little bit of GP. And in Lumbridge here, there is Bob's Axe Store. And he right here will go ahead and if you trade him, you will be able to buy the bronze, the iron, and up to the steel axe. So this can be very good at low levels before you go ahead and get the adamant axe or the mithril axe and stuff like that. And you could go ahead and use the steel axe up until you get the uh, rune axe, but you can go ahead and get the adamant axe from various slayer creatures. Now, as for the actual training, when you have level 1 woodcutting, you will be in Lumbridge and you'll have your bronze axe from Tutorial Island. What I really recommend you do is set yourself a goal of getting 50 fire making. Now, how you want to go ahead and do this is just start off by chopping the regular 
trees here you can just do it all the way through this forest up to drain here i highly recommend you just kind of stay here go ahead and chop yourself the regular trees um it will take a little bit of time but once you hit level 15 you can go ahead and do oak trees and these start to be a little bit more afk now there is better places to chop the oak trees you could go ahead and chop them in drain or you can go ahead and chop them in very rock and they are way better to chop because there's banks very very close but what i recommend you guys to do is go ahead and start to train your fire making up to level 50 and this will kind of make it seem like you're not grinding wood cutting as much because you're actually just training fire making at the same time now the reason you want 50 fire making is because you can go ahead and unlock winter todd and at the very start of the game this is something that you definitely want to unlock and at the same time what you're going to want to do is train your fletching with the leftover logs that you have and uh, this can be a good way to get a bunch of total levels at the very start of the game and you can train your fletching and you can train your fire making by this point you should easily have reached level 30 wood cutting and you can go ahead and chop the willow trees um you're gonna want to chop these and burn them as well just make sure you get that 50 fire making very important to go ahead and unlock winter todd and then after that you can go ahead and save the logs for fletching or whatever you want to do with them in the future um and for willow logs there is two places you can chop these the first spot is in Draenor Village here. Um, this is a good spot to chop the willow logs, and there's a bank right here. If you are a lower level, keep in mind of these dark wizards will attack you, and it can be kind of frustrating. But uh, as you can see, we just got a bird's nest here as well, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, you're going to want to just chop all of the willow logs and then go ahead and bank them over here. And there is one spot that is better in my opinion. If you use a games necklace up to Barbarian Assault, or if you're going here for the very, very first time, you're going to want to walk from Artie and pretty much just walk up here to where you would do the waterfall quest. And then you're going to want to talk to the Barbarian in here, and then you will unlock the minigame teleport so you can teleport here with the minigames teleport. And uh, it's a great spot to have unlocked because there is less people here chopping the willow trees and then there is a little bank chest right in, in here. So you can go ahead and chop it yourself a full inventory of the willow logs. And uh, willow logs are actually pretty decent experience per hour if you do this long term. You can chop the willow logs here with less competition for other people being around and then you can just simply bank them at the chest here. So it's a great method for training your wood cutting and uh, it can be some pretty decent experience experience. Now some people stay here for a very very long time but once you hit level 35 woodcutting you unlock one of the best methods in the game which is chopping teak trees. Now there's a couple places you can go ahead and chop these teak trees. Now the first place is um, on Apatol, you'll need to complete the Monkey Madness 1 quest, and once you get to the Gnome Stronghold, you want to go to the second floor here, sorry I went up two flights of stairs, do the second floor, and then head east and talk to the guy that you did during the quest that will blindfold you and take you to the secret hideout right here, I can't think of his name right now, it starts with a D, there we go, Dario. Right click him and click travel and then you will head to where you were during the quest and then you have to travel with the other guy here as well, Wadar or Wadar, and travel with this guy and he'll take you to Apatol and then basically come up to Lumdo right here, travel with this guy and you'll be on Apatol. Now what you can do here is uh, transform yourself into a monkey with the Grigri and you can actually still chop the logs. So the reason you wanna do this is so that you don't get poisoned by anything or whatever. And as you can see, there's actually somebody here. So you wanna stand where this guy is right here um, on the map and then just chop the teak logs. I'm not gonna like crash this guy, but I'll just show you that it will work as a monkey. I actually did get my 99 wood cutting here just at the last few levels because I wanted it to be a bit quicker. But uh, as you can see, it's 87 experience per teak log and you will have to drop these here unless you have like an inferno ax or something like that that will chop them automatically. But uh, yeah, you just wanna stay here and AFK these because this will be the best pretty much experience you can get. However though, if you want to bank the teak logs or even the mahogany logs, you can actually grow them on Fossil Island. So if we just go over to the dig site right here and uh, you, you're gonna need a farming level for this as well, obviously. So for these uh, trees, 
you're going to need um where are they they'd be in special so you need 35 farming to plant the teak trees or 55 farming to plant the mahogany trees and there is three in a row here on fossil island with a pretty close bank for the most part so once you get to fossil island you obviously are going to want to build the bank that's right there and then you will i have one that died obviously but you'd want to grow three of the teak trees here or three of the mahogany whatever kind of one you want to do and then just simply sit here and chop them and by the time that you chop all three the other one will grow back and just sit here these are actually mahogany but you would you'd want them to be teak like uh if you're wanting to bank them for construction or whatever like that and simply when you have a full inventory of these ones you just want to run through this little shortcut again and the bank will just be right here so it's very easy if you want to go ahead and chop all the teaks and mahoganies or whatever you want for 99 this way now for myself on how i got 99 woodcutting is i actually from 60 to 99 pretty much afk'd it like i said from 97 to 99 i just did the teaks to make it a little bit faster but what i went ahead and did is go to the woodcutting guild with a skills necklace or you can just walk there from zay i probably walked there at the time um it is located right here on the map uh so basically if you teleport to hosidius you're going to want to run down and it's over here or if you have the diary complete and go ahead and use the rod as blessing and it's pretty much right by the woodcutting guild you also are going to need the 75 percent in the host Sidious house favor to actually enter the woodcutting guild so keep that in mind as well fairly simple to go ahead and get obviously but uh just keep that in mind you will need that for here and entering the woodcutting guild now there are yew trees here there are willow trees here there are maple trees here there's every kind of tree that you'd pretty much want to chop there is a sawmill operator here which you can go ahead and use to turn the uh the logs into the planks but uh also in here you can go ahead and kill those ends but that's another topic for another video um but yeah this is pretty much where i was all the way to uh 99 the cool part about um the woodcutting guild is you get a plus seven invisible um boost for woodcutting so you will chop these faster than say in like catherby or something like that so i went ahead and chopped the yew trees pretty much from i'm gonna say 60 maybe 65 all the way until i got to level you know 75 i tried the magics out a little bit but use seemed to be better at the time i was going towards uh use for fletching experience so my my thought process was to go ahead and chop these for fletching and then high elk them for money because that was pretty much the only way i made money at the very start of the game and as for string um the reason i have like the eight um lumberjack outfits is i did temple tracking for a while and i got like twenty thousand bowstrings so i was able to um chop about twenty thousand u logs string them got a ton of fletching xp and then made a ton of money this way now this isn't the best experience in the world um it will pick up obviously at the very end and when you get to higher wood cutting levels but you will make a decent amount of money doing the yew trees here and it's very afk so if you have another account to play or if you want to watch something on netflix or youtube um the yew trees are really really good now if you remember if you want the fastest xp stay at the teaks or even the teaks and bank them for construction i personally with construction i just got all the teaks from my kingdom of miscellanea and afk the use um but yeah you can do this all the way up until level 90 woodcutting if you want a change of pace, um, you could move over to magics at 75 or even a little bit higher if you want them to be better. The magic trees are just located right here. Um, yeah, I, I personally would stay at the use, but if you want to do magics for whatever reason, if you want more money with elking or fletching, or if you even want to use them for birdhouse runs or something, you can move over to the magic trees, but they will be significantly slower than the use. So I would recommend just staying at the use all the way until you get to level 90. As you see, we, we haven't even chopped a single. Oh, there we go. Uh, you do get a lot more mag or woodcutting experience, but uh, I would honestly recommend you stay at the U's. You'll chop them a lot faster. And the good thing about woodcutting is you can stay in the exact same spot with the exact same bank, right? So when you hit level 90, welcome to Redwoods. This is going to be actually pretty decent experience. I, I tested it recently and I got 70k experience per hour woodcutting. And that's pretty much uh, the fastest you can get for how AFK these are. The Redwoods are all really, really good to chop. 
pretty much one of the most AFK things in the entire game as well. You can get up to 70k experience per hour um, with pretty much 99 wood cutting. So when you're 90, maybe expect like 60k XP an hour, but it's still really good. You just come up here, chop them super severely AFK, then you just run down, bank, rinse and repeat over and over and over again until you have 99. Now once you have uh, 99 you you can get tons and tons of fletching experience i would recommend you go to winter todd for your fire making but if you do want the best fire making experience in the entire game then red redwoods is that if you burn the redwoods that's the best fire making experience you can actually get in the entire game um but yeah overall redwoods is a really good and chill place to go ahead and get yourself 99 wood cutting but uh, if you do want the fastest XP, you can go ahead and stick to the teak trees. But uh, yeah, it's a very simple and chill skill to go ahead and get yourself to 99. It can be very useful, especially if you do like the teaks or something for construction. Or even if you choose to do the slow method and do it with fletching, it can be very useful. You can make a ton of GP. That's how uh, woodcutting and fletching is how I actually made my first 20 million GP on this Iron Man account, which has actually paid for the kingdom. And then there therefore I was able to do construction so yeah it can it can definitely pay off and I highly recommend you do wood cutting on your AFK time and uh, overall it's a pretty decent and chill skill anyways if this guide helped you guys make sure to smash the like button and if you watch the whole video go ahead and comment uh, dragon axe thank you guys so much and I will catch you in tomorrow's video see ya later